one of my favorite things about the city is uh, all the people on the street selling gym memberships. <laughs> you know, those people with the brochures that are running around just going, fitness, 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 fitness. You know, I realize there are two kinds of these people. One kind that looks so amazing, they inspire you to work out. The other kind that looks so terrible, they scare you into working out. <laughs> Like a scary kind came up to me the other day and he just goes, you want to exercise? <laughs> and I was like, do you want to exercise? <laughs> but it's just so lazy, these people just yelling out, fitness, fitness, fitness. Like I feel like they should do more to try to get us to join their gym. Like they should have pickup lines to get us to join. Like, hey. You are very attractive. <laughs> Is what I would say if you were in shape. Fitness! <laughs> and if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. In a yoga class, fitness! <laughs> so yeah, I joined one of those gyms, but I don't think it's very good. Because <laughs> my gym has a... Uh, has these pictures on the wall of their personal trainers that have gone through physical transformations, like these before and after pictures. But I've realized the before and after pictures don't look any better or worse than each other. They just look different. So they tell some weird stories. It's like, Debbie used to be a size 12, and now Debbie has short hair. <laughs> Travis used to be a big old fatso, but now Travis has a shirt on. So you can't tell. Carl used to get made fun of for his tiny arms, but now Carl wears glasses. That's right, not only did his body not get better, his vision got worse. That's a tough break for Carl. Yeah, feel bad for him. But, uh... I had a moment of weakness the other day. Have any of you ever like looked up an ex on the internet? Like, like an ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend? No, yeah, you're smart. <laughs> I had a moment of weakness the other day, and I looked up an ex uh, on the internet, and I uh, found out that after four years, she and another man are happily using my Netflix account. <laughs> oh, that was a tough one to get over. But as a single guy, the amount of condoms you have in your possession says a lot about you. Like, if you don't have any condoms, that means you're probably not having much sex. But if you have a lot of condoms, that means you're probably not having any sex. <laughs> like, I was getting with a girl the other day for the first time in a while. I took out a condom and she started coughing. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Are you allergic to latex? She goes, no, I'm allergic to dust. <laughs> Oh, I love the laugh that that line gets. <laughs> I, uh, I used to go out a lot, like to bars and clubs, uh, but I don't really do that anymore. Because I've realized clubs are made for women to attract men, but not really for men to attract women. You know? Like, for example, like as a guy, if you see a girl dancing sexy at a club, you're like, oh, that's the one I want. Like, it's really simple. But, like, women are not impressed by a guy just dancing. Like, like, if you're at a club and you want to impress a woman, you need to do more than that. You gotta be like, mmm, yeah. No. Here's my bank statement. Mm. <laughs> I get one every month. And the balance normally goes up. Mmm, yeah. Sorry, I'm normally better at dancing, but it's kind of hard to dance while I'm holding my two-week-old puppy. Ooh, yeah. I rescued him. Do you think you can rescue me? Here's a cute picture of me, the puppy, and my mom, because I respect my mom. But I'll respect you more, and I'll never choose my mom over you. Mm. I'm strong and can protect you, because I've been in the gym working on my fitness. Mm. Okay, guys, you ready to get the